specifics of translators from bilingual countries. When you are going to widen your market and need some translations to be implemented, you should do what? Right, you have to survey the specifics of the region. As some countries are bilingual and you will require the different approach to them. So, what is a bilingual country? According to Wikipedia, almighty, bilingualism is the use of two languages, either by an individual speaker or by a community of speakers. Bilingual may refer to multilingualism, the capacity of speaking more than one natural language, for instance, English and German. Multilingualism is the use of more than one language, either by an individual speaker or by a community of speakers. It is believed that multilingual speakers outnumber monolingual speakers in the world's population. More than half of all European claim to speak at least one language other than the mother tongue. Multilingualism is becoming a social phenomenon governed by the needs of globalization and cultural openness. Owing to the case of access to information facilitated by the Internet, individuals' exposure to multiple languages is becoming increasingly frequent, thereby promoting a need to acquire additional languages. People who speak several languages are also called polyglots. Multilingual speakers have acquired and maintained at least one language during childhood, the so-called their first language. The first language, sometimes also referred to as the mother tongue, is acquired without formal education by mechanisms heavily disputed. Children acquiring two languages in this way are called simultaneous bilinguals. Even in the case of simultaneous bilinguals, one language usually dominates the other. People who know more than one language have been reported to be more adept at a language learning compared to monolinguals. Additionally, bilinguals often have important economic advantages over monolingual individuals, as bilingual people are able to carry out duties that monolinguals cannot, such as interacting with customers who only speak a minority language. Now, Ukraine is one of those countries where bilingualism is widely spread due to some historical events and influence of other countries. So, is it Russian or Ukrainian, or both? Ukraine and Russia are used roughly equally across Ukraine. While the official state language of Ukraine is Ukrainian, the preferred spoken language in most cities and southern, eastern and northern Ukraine is still Russian. Don't be fooled by statistics on the number of ethnic Russians. It's about 17-20% in Ukraine or those who consider Ukrainian their native language, a somewhat loaded term, which can be as high as 60 to 80 percent. If we go by the language people actually speak at home, numbers are roughly 40 percent Ukrainian, 40 percent Russian, and 20 percent a mixture of the two. Moreover, Russian speakers are more often found in large cities and Ukrainian speakers in rural areas. In Kiev and many other regions, use of Ukrainian has been increasing and instruction in most schools is in Ukrainian. The percentage of people speaking Ukrainian on the street is about 30% in Kiev, from 40 to 80% in Zhitomir, Vinnytsa, Khmelnytsky, Chernivtsi, Mukachevo and Uzhgorod, and from 5 to 10% in Kharkiv, Dnipropetrovsk and Odessa, and only 1-5% to in Crimea, Donetsk and Lugansk. So it's from 80-98% to in Lviv, Ivano-Frankivsk, Ternopil, Khmelnytsky and Lutsk. These are just approximations. Rural areas have a significantly higher concentration of Ukrainian speakers and speakers of so-called Surzhik, it's a mixture of Ukrainian and Russian. However, the most literary Ukrainian is spoken by educated individuals in the cities. In locations where both languages are spoken, Ukrainian tends to be heard more often at government institutions and is the language of most official events. 
Russian, on the other hand, is often more popular in business where pragmatism reigns. In certain areas of business, for example programming, Russian is clearly predominant. In fact, I recently read that 80% of Ukrainian websites are in Russian, as of 2008. Most school and university instructions is in Ukrainian, even in many areas where Russian speakers predominate. This is a topic of frequent political debate. Should there be more Russian schools? Should Russian be made the second official language? Should Russian be marginalized from public life? Most Ukrainians oppose the idea of making Russian the second official state language, but support the idea of allowing regions to make it a region language. And certainly people should have every right to use their preferred language in everyday life. So, are Ukrainian and Russian languages equal? Well, among educated Russian speakers, you will find a few minor differences in pronunciation from classic Russian. For example, the G sound, which sounds as G in Russian, is pronounced as H in Ukrainian. And there are also slight differences in intonation and speaking style. This can hardly be considered a reason not to choose Ukraine as a place to study Russian. In fact, Moscow Russian has just as many, if not more, idiosyncrasies. So, how easy is it to learn Ukrainian if you know Russian? If you happen to be fluent in Russian, several months of passive exposure is generally enough to learn to understand a lot of Ukrainian, or vice versa. In fact, Westerners usually have an easier time learning Ukrainian than Russian, since it has fewer palatized or soft consonants t, d, l, r, s, and so on, and fewer difficult consonants clusters str, st, and the like. Ukrainian and Russian languages share much of their vocabulary, but have somewhat different pronunciation paradigms. Nonetheless, learning Ukrainian from a base of Russian or vice versa is far easier than mastering a new language from scratch. You can expect to make very quick progress on Ukrainian or Russian if you already know the other one. Russian language is the most common first language in the Donbas and Crimea regions of Ukraine and the predominant language in large cities in the east and south of the country. The usage and status of the language, currently Ukrainian, is the only state language of Ukraine, is an object of political disputes within Ukrainian society. Nevertheless, Russian is very widely used language in Ukraine, in pop culture and in formal and business communications. As far as you can see, bilingualism offers more advantages than causes troubles. If you are going to conquer the Ukrainian market, you should think of its bilingual peculiarity. If you have a doubt hiring a bilingual translator, test his or her skills, but be sure, bilinguals are able to help you twice more than monolinguals, especially in Ukrainian and Russian languages.